Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope all are safe. Today we'll be making chicken spring roll. I have made the chicken spring roll with the sweet and sour dipping sauce. The chicken roll is crunchy and goes well with the sauce. Let's make the chicken filling now. Heat oil in a okra pan and add in the boneless chicken. I have taken chicken breast and chopped it. Sort it slightly and add in salt as needed. Since we have chopped the boneless chicken, it cooks faster. Add in soya sauce and sort it. Add in pepper powder as needed. It took nearly 10 minutes for me to cook the chicken. Once the chicken is cooked, add in corn flour. Sort the chicken for a couple of minutes and remove it. To the same pan, I have added oil and then goes chopped garlic. Add in chopped ginger as well. Sort both ginger and the garlic. I'm adding a ripe red chilli. You can add green chilli as well. Now I'm adding Kashmiri red chilli flakes. You can reduce the quantity of chilli flakes if you're using the regular one. Add in a sliced onion and saute it. Sort the onion slightly and add in the carrot. Add in salt as per the taste and sort it. In goes the shredded cabbage. The veggies shouldn't be overcooked, it should retain the crunchiness. Finally, add in the capsicum. Add in pepper as needed. Add in soya sauce and saute it. Make sure not to overcook the vegetables. We have to cook the vegetables at high flame. Add in the cooked chicken and mix well. Now I'm adding little honey into it. Well, the honey doesn't give sweetness to the spring roll, but it balances the flavor. I'm adding in the cornflour slurry so that all the mix combines well. I have prepared cornflour slurry by mixing one teaspoon of cornflour in quarter cup of water. But I have added only two tablespoon of cornflour slurry into the filling. Our filling is ready now. You can have this filling as such and it's really yummy. I have taken spring roll sheet and covered it with wet kitchen tissue. You can cover it with the wet cloth so that it doesn't rise up. I 
have just mixed water and maida to seal the spring roll. Place the filling onto the spring roll sheet and roll the way just like the way I am doing. Having said that, find a way which suits you and roll it. I am not that good in rolling a spring roll sheet and I am still learning it. Once you have rolled, seal the corners with the floor mix. While rolling, make sure you doesn't have any holes in the spring roll. Because once you fry, the oil gets into the spring roll and it becomes too oily. I like this filling very much and you can even roll it in chapati or roti. Our spring roll is ready to be deep fried. I'm just deep frying the spring roll. It doesn't take much time because the fillings are already cooked. For vegetable spring roll, you can have the same filling but you can exclude the chicken. Do try this recipe and tell me how it turned out. I have an Instagram page which is Vardhini's Cook Spot and have posted a lot of my cooking pictures. Do check it out and let me know if you want me to share some of the recipes here. Our chicken spring roll is ready now. I served it with sweet and sour dipping sauce. I'll share the recipe on my next video. Until then, take care. Bye bye.